Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful, day here in the end times in paradise by the banks of Buttercup Creek at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this spectacularly gorgeous Memorial Day weekend. It is Sunday, May 29th, 2022, and the little dog and I need to start carrying some rocks up a hill. Who does, who does that remind me of carrying rocks up a hill? Uh, so I am procrastinating, but as long as I'm procrastinating, uh, I'm just going to cover two stories, and you can decide for yourself whether there is uh, any connection between these two stories and what either one of them has to do with the collapse of a planet. And I want to thank uh, Alert Listener. I'd call him one of my lieutenants. And that is Brother Tom from Vermont has sent me uh, this story. Br Brother Tom, he really has his finger on the pulse of what is going on in the planet, capturing the attention of 99% of the planet. Take it away. This is from... I don't... from... I have no idea which, what H-N-H-H -H means. But anyway, they are all, they have their finger on the pulse too. Quote, Courtney Kardashian says fertility doctor suggested she drink Travis Barker's semen four times a week. Yes. <clears throat> Courtney shares three children with her ex while Travis, I guess her new squeeze, is the father of two. So between the two of them, they already have five kids. Just as a background uh, to this story. All right. While we just saw Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker exchange vows for the third time in Italy on the Push Founders reality show, The Kardashians, viewers of last night's episode witnessed some of their IVF, their, what is that? It, 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 anyway, we all know uh, the F is fertilization, in vitro fertilization struggles as they attempt to conceive a baby together, the 43-year-old Courtney, who sh already shares three children with her ex, Scott Disick, not to mention the two that uh, this other clueless moron named Travis is bringing into it. Uh, the 43-year-old who already has three kids has been vocal about her desire to have more kids. Yes, but on screen she revealed that her latest attempt at having eggs retrieved did not go as planned, so her fertility doctor gave her some advice. Yes. Quote, this is quoting Courtney Kardashian. I can't remember what he said. I can't remember what he said if my thyroid level was low or my thyroid level was high or if my brain is falling out my anus. She recalled revealing why her body was not cooperating. He told me well, he told me that the thing that would help, it was drinking Travis's cum like four times a week. Close quote. Barker joked, quote, I loved this doctor 
Yes, although neither of the lovers confirmed whether they had begun testing the prescribed bedroom antics just yet. I can imagine, uh, I'm going to take a wild guess that Courtney Kardashian has probably drank more semen uh, than, uh, you know, than a, than a damn herd of uh, dairy heifers. But anyway, we're going to go from that story to this one. Uh, what is the common denominator between that story and this story? <clears throat> Uh, this will really test how much of an eco-Nazi are you from Courtney Kardashian drinking semen so she can have a fourth child at age 43. We have this one coming out of Nigeria, you know, uh, coming out of sub-Saharan Africa where I have been saying for years sub-Saharan Africa and I've actually been saying Nigeria is uh, where you can look for the collapse of global industrial civilization to kick off in earnest. This is the latest news out of Nigeria, I guess, in the, just the past couple of days. <clears throat> Children among 31 killed at church fair stampede in Nigeria. A stampede Saturday at a church charity event in southern Nigeria left 31 people dead and seven injured, police told the Associated Press, a shocking development at a program that aimed to offer her, that aimed to offer her, offer her, 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 her hope to the needy. One witness said that the dead included a pregnant woman and many children. The stampede at the charity event organized by the King's Assembly Pentecostal Church in River State involved people who came to the church's annual Shop for Free charity program according to Gracie Orange Coco, a police spokeswoman. Yes, such events are common in Nigeria. Africa's, Africa's largest economy where more than 80 million people live in poverty according to its own government statistics. Saturday's charity program, ba basically what they're talking about was giving clothing away. I don't know if there's anything other than clothing, but you know, one of these where they, where a church is offering people to, you know, poor folks uh, who should never have been born to come get all of this free stuff probably donated uh, from honkies in Europe and the U.S. Saturday's charity program was supposed to begin at 9 a.m., but dozens of people arrived as early as 5 a.m. to secure their place in line, uh, you, you know, to get their hands on this free uh, garbage, basically. Somehow, Somehow, the locked gate was broken open, creating a stampede, uh, she said. So this was not a stampede getting away from something. This was a stampede uh, of people tearing down a church charity gate, a locked gate, to get their hands on uh, some stuff uh, that would probably be rejected by the Salvation Army uh, here in the U.S., which is why we sent the shit to Nigeria. 
And anyway, Godwin Tepecor from Nigeria's National Emergency Management Agency said that first responders were able to evacuate the bodies of those trampled to death and bring them to the morgue as security forces cordoned off the area. Dozens of residents later thronged the scene mourning the dead and offering any assistance they could to emergency workers. <coughs> yes, doctors and emergency workers treated some of the injured as they lay in an open field. Yes. One witness who only identified himself as Daniel said, quote, there were so many children among the dead. Five of the dead children were from one mother, he told the Associated Press, adding that a pregnant woman also lost her life. Some church members were attacked and injured by relatives of the victims after the stampede, according to witness Christopher Ease. The church declined to comment on the situation. The police spokeswoman said the seven injured were, quote, responding to treatment. The shop for free event was suspended while authorities investigated how the stampede occurred. Well, I think it's pretty obvious how the stampede occurred. It is called Mad Max in action in 2022 in, uh, in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, stampeding, trampling children who should never have been born to death to get your fucking hands on some free tennis shoes. You know, that uh, are, are what any of us would consider garbage. People killing children for garbage. Uh, th this is the planet we're living on, guys. So uh, let Kourtney Kardashian drink all of the cum she wants. Uh, I think she's putting the semen in the wrong hole, but I would strongly advise Courtney to keep dumping uh, Travis's semen down her pie hole and uh, wondering why she's not getting pregnant, but I bet Travis is laughing all the way to that bank. Anyway, I've got to wrap up. This uh, semen-eating, child-stomping monologue and uh, start carrying heavy rocks uphill. Old Sisyphus has to get to work. I suggest you get out there and get to work while you still can. My guys. That's the log. I think we're done.